trying to think of what words I want to write. So it goes back to the words that I wrote behind me and uh, freedom is one of those big ones. I want to be able to exercise freedom in all aspects. So freedom to decide who I sleep with, for example, freedom to decide where I purchase land, how I purchase land, freedom to work anywhere I want to. Freedom to choose what you want to do with this vessel that you live in, the vessel being your body. But the basis of it speaks to my right to my body. If I want to have sex for money, it's my body, it's my right, it's my vagina. Our experiences when we go and try and access an abortion and so on, like in every sphere of our lives, it is about someone else telling us what we may and may not do. I don't get to wake up one day and decide today I'm going to fight the lesbian fight and tomorrow I'm going to fight the Kenyan fight and the day after I'm going to fight the feminist fight. These are things I carry around on my body, on my skin, in my conversations, at the shops when I can't speak Zulu, um, at the airport when they ask how long are you here for, at the school when they say where's this child's father, why don't you want to put his details on, on all the paperwork. So many people were okay with thinking somebody else can make decisions on your behalf. Somebody will decide whether you will go to school or not, whether you will earn a living of your own. Somebody else can decide what you can and cannot do with your body. I think for many women, um, having grown up, one's bodily autonomy is, is still denied. You know, when you look at your bodily autonomy, my choice as a person, right? My choice to be whatever it is I want to be. To change even. So I can identify as one thing now and be able to change that down the line because I feel differently. You can identify as a woman, you can identify as anything really and still be able to have voice, to have recognition, to claim space. It's really an important issue because this is something our experiences we have, for example, in a patriarchal society of our men are often more confident in using space utilizing their bodies or in exercising power using their bodies in space, how we occupy it, how we use it to lead, to take control. Autonomy for me means freedom to self-govern. I think it's a very difficult process of trying to, to be yourself because society wants you to conform. But it's also not an individualized or individualistic sense of autonomy. I feel like it still goes back to what are the options? that women are given, and those are severely limited by states and policies and cultures. And other things that say that there's only so far you can go. And autonomy says, well, can we go further? Can we go further in creating more choices? Your autonomy is intersectional with other autonomies of those around you, of structural um, situations that you are in. So I guess our, our sense of autonomy, even as we make the demand, is a growing and evolving understanding of that. Women are many. We're, we, we're enough. There's enough women to shift things so much. If only we could critique and interrogate the idea of ownership and looking at power and looking at autonomy and how these forces interplay.